at it again and obviously we are at basically the finish line here and so there are a ton a ton of ads from trump uh in his team that have been released i'm not going to show you every single one but i've got some good ones for you today including one that is probably the best one thus far i'm serious I, I, that's that's not even kidding this is probably the best ad that we have checked out thus far and you guys know I, we've checked out a lot of trump's ads uh but this first one it's 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 definitely the best one it's definitely the best one so uh the finish line is here tomorrow stay in line do not leave until you get the job done we know there's gonna be some shenanigans there's gonna be long lines be prepared all right go to your polling place prepared but with that being said Let's dive in. What will we do with this moment? How will we be remembered? Look at the opportunities before us. This election really isn't about the left versus the right. It's about we the people choosing our government and the choice between freedom versus tyranny. Nobody has a chronic disease burden like we have. Why are we allowing this to happen to our children? Ultimately, the only thing that will save our country is if we choose to love our kids more than we hate each other. What is going on here is deeper than politics. It is deeply spiritual. We are being called to rise above the hatred and the fear and the evil. We need to remember above and beyond that we must love our neighbors, that we must treat other people as we hope to be treated. You want to be a rebel? You want to be a hippie? You want to stick it to the man? Show up on your college campus and try calling yourself a conservative. America is going to reach heights that it has never seen before. The future is going to be amazing! healthy children. Don't you want a president that's going to make America healthy again? I come to you today as a former Democrat. I will be a first-time Trump voter tonight. The people dreamed this country, and it's the people who are making America great again. Can't, you can't tell me that's not the best ad that Trump has released thus far. You can't tell me it ain't. I mean... Literally, I mean, goosebumps. I had a smile on my face the entire time. I mean, incredible, incredible. But we got to finish the job. We have to finish the job. November 5th, if you're watching this on the day of release, it's tomorrow. It's the big day. We got to show up and we got to show up in massive numbers. Bring it home. Bring it home. Let's move on to the next one. Nothing worth doing ever came easy. Treat the word impossible as nothing more than motivation. Never, ever quit. Never quit. Adversity makes you stronger. Don't give in, don't back down, and never stop doing what you know is right. They want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedoms. They're not coming after me, they're coming after you, and I just happen to be standing in their way. When they couldn't beat him, they tried to bankrupt him. President Trump is back in a New York City courtroom. When that didn't work, they tried to put him in federal prison. Raided by the FBI. When that didn't work, they even tried to kill him. He just tried to kill President Trump. Donald Trump still stands, ready to fight 
ready to win and ready to make America great again. This is Donald Trump's house, brother. This election, we all get to choose. I'm going to choose real American leadership and a real American badass. The 45th and soon to be 47th President Donald J. Trump. We will defeat inflation quickly and we will make America affordable again. I will cut your energy costs in half. It's time for the working man and woman to finally catch a break. We are going to bring back the American dream, bigger, better, and stronger than ever before. When I'm back in the White House, we will restore world peace and it will be again peace through strength. I will launch the largest deportation program in American history. I will put these vicious and bloodthirsty criminals in jail or kick them the hell out of our country. November 5th, 2024, will be Liberation Day in America. We all salute the same great American flag. Our best days are yet to come. Together, we will make America great again. Yeah, another great one. Another great, not as good as the first one, but that one was solid too. It was most definitely solid for sure. But uh, let's check out this third one I have. Check it out. Don't let Kamala Harris fool you. Harris not only supports taxing service workers' tips, news reports confirm Biden and Harris have weaponized the IRS to confiscate your tip money. Harris and Biden have literally unleashed the IRS to harass workers who receive tips and they just may be coming to your house next. Only President Trump has a plan that ends all taxes on service workers' tips. President Trump, he's on your side. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Yeah. I love how Kamala tried to uh, copy that, even though she was the um, the des- deciding vote on a- actually having the IRS go after uh, people's tips. Nobody in the media talks about that one, though. Of course, conveniently, they skip over the fact that Kamala is the was the deciding vote for people for the IRS going after tips. But now she's saying no tax on tips. Oh, my God. You know, I'm not going to tax tips like two months after Trump said it. Interesting. Anyway, uh, let's move on to number four. Would you have done something differently than President Biden? There is not a thing that comes to mind. Kamala wouldn't change a thing, even though her radical agenda costs American lives. Kamala allowed dangerous criminals through our border, including Johan Martinez and Franklin Ramos, charged with gang raping then strangling a 12-year-old girl, destroying innocence, tearing apart communities, and devastating families. And Kamala won't change a thing, so Americans will continue to lose their lives. Would you have? I still can't believe she sat up there and actually said that. Which means she actually believes it. Would you have done anything different than Joe Biden? No, no, I wouldn't do anything different. Okay, well, thanks. Thanks for letting us know. We're going to get the same thing that we've gotten these past four years for another four years if we elect you. Thank you. Thank you. Because um, we ain't, we ain't, we definitely ain't voting for you now. I mean, we weren't, we weren't voting for you before, but. We really, really ain't voting for you now uh, because we definitely don't want a repeat of the last four years. And you just admitted that's what we will get. But let's move on to number five. Hello to our great sports fans, and I hope you're having a fantastic time. We're two days away from the most important election in the history of our country. We've got to save our country, and it needs saving. It's in very bad shape. The worst economic numbers in generations were just announced two days ago. We're losing jobs. We're losing everything, including viability. We're going to end up in a depression based on what's been happening. We've never seen anything like it, at least for the last 40 years. We have to straighten out our country. We have to close our borders. We have to lower our taxes. We have to get rid of inflation. And we're going to do it. Just remember, Kamala and her friends broke it. I'll fix it. Most important election in the history of our country. Go and vote. Yeah, get out and vote. 
uh, these great polls that I've been showing you guys mean absolutely nothing if we don't show up on November, November 5th, which is tomorrow, if you're watching this on the day of release. November 5th is the day. It's the day that we're all going to be standing in some long lines, waiting some very long hours, but it'll be worth it, 1,000%. I will never apologize for defending America. I will protect our workers. I will protect our jobs. I will protect our borders. I will protect our family. Over the past four years, Kamala has orchestrated the most egregious betrayal that any leader in American history has ever inflicted upon our people. She broke it. She just broke the whole damn thing. But I will fix it, and I'll fix it fast. We're going to do it. Come today with a message of hope for all Americans. With your vote Tuesday, I will end inflation. I will stop the massive invasion of criminals into our country. Yeah, make the American dream uh, possible again. Maybe that could could be a slogan, right? <laughs> That's for sure. Goodness gracious. Everything's so expensive now. Uh, the American dream is just like, uh, it's it's virtually not even possible anymore because of uh, Kamala and, you know, her terrible, her terrible administration and decision making. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to the next one. Four years ago, we took a wrong turn and lost our purpose. We lost the strength that makes Americans who we are. If we dared to speak the truth, it was called hate speech, and our values were labeled shameful. That's when everything we care about fell apart. We surrendered our borders, our paychecks, and our courage. Our patriotism was called toxic. Men could beat up women and win medals, but there was no prize for the guy who got up every day to do his job. Now we're being asked to settle for the way things are. And we're wondering if America can make a comeback. We can, because we've done it before. When we get knocked down, we don't stay down. We get up again. We fight, we fight, we fight. I'm Donald J. Trump and I approve this message. Yeah, they have completely lowered our standard of living, 1,000%. And, uh, you know, I, I think that has been done intentionally. And I've talked about that in, in uh, past videos. But let's move on. I believe this is the last one that I have today. Yeah, I'll end it here. Check out this one. Think about all they've done to Donald Trump. First, it was hoaxes, witch hunts, and impeachments. Then it was FBI raids, courtrooms, and mug shots. Finally, it was bullets in a Pennsylvania field. And after all that, this man stood up with blood draining down his face, pumped his fists in the air, and told us to fight. 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 America's future will be bigger, better, bolder, brighter, happier, stronger, freer, greater, and more united than ever before. And we will make America great again. We know what they think of us. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. So if Donald Trump can get through all of that, we can get out to vote. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. If he can go through all of that, I mean, we can get out and vote and stand in, you know, a long line. I mean, the guy nearly lost his life. And of course, mainstream media doesn't talk about it anymore. But if that had been anybody else except for Donald Trump, it would still be getting talked about. We know that. But because it was Trump, they talked about it for a week. And I don't even know if it was actually even a week that they talked about it. They might have talked about it for a couple of days. And even then, they tried to blame it on Republicans and Trump. <laughs> Crazy, man. Crazy. 
that's another thing that has to get fixed in this country when uh, Trump becomes president is our, our, our news organizations are absolutely garbage. Garbage. It's absolute trash. Absolute trash. And that's good for somebody like myself, right? Because it sends more people my way. But, you know, mainstream media should be good, honest, and trustworthy. And it's not. It's not at all. But anyway, um, yeah, tomorrow's the day, guys. Tomorrow is the big day. It's time to put up or shut up. It's time to put up or shut up. No excuses. No excuses. Let's get it done. We've already been showing up in massive numbers. Let's keep it going tomorrow. Let's keep it going. Let's, uh, let's make America great again. Peace and love. I'm out.